I'm Monica Price and welcome to Cover TV. My guests today include a fine art photographer who is creating a stir here in the West Midlands with his unusual and innovative approach to photography. We welcome Clive Sawyer. Also joining me is talented singer-songwriter Vix, who with her all-female lineup is wowing the crowds live with her band Vix and Her Mischiefs. My first guest spends his time travelling around the world, as well as here in the UK, taking photographs and turning them into fine art. His pictures hang in hotels across the world, and he has a number of celebrity clients who adore his work. He's now come to the West Midlands shooting still photography, and he joins us here today on Cuppa TV. Please welcome Clive Sawyer. Clive, thank you so much for coming on the Pleasure show today. To be here. Pleasure Wonderful, to be here. and we are surrounded by yes, your work, yes, as you can yeah. see. But we'll come to that in just a second. So, Clive, first of all, why the West Midlands? Why have you chosen to come well, to, I, to the West Midlands? And years ago, I came here on holiday as a kid. The first time I ever left home, so I've come back ah, there <laughs> to we are. rediscover Absolutely. the West Midlands. And you've got some amazing buildings here. Mm. You know, the Selfridge Ball Ring. You know. Yes. Uh, the library, these sort of places, yeah. and they really lend themselves to photography, mm. you know, and, you know, you get the light, you get the right time of day and everything, and you can get mm. some amazing shots. So you're, you, you're actually, your gallery's in Sussex, is that right? That's right, yeah. Yes, you've got a gallery yeah. in Sussex, yeah. and again, yeah. you, you, your client list is, is yeah, expands well, the world, which is wonderful. not so long ago, we shipped a very large piece out to Melbourne mm. in Australia. We ship stuff all over the world mm. and we get people from all over the world mm. coming to that area. And it's very so. different, Clive, your work. I mean, you know, just the one beside you, for instance. Yeah, we've got, this just this tell us about this it's one. It's the ball ring, a uh, picture of the ball ring that's printed on canvas and mm -hmm. stretched over a solid wood frame. Mm. And uh, there's a laminate on there so you can wipe it clean. And, it, um, and the inks these days, the technology for photography and printing is leaps and bounds really? uh, ahead of what it used to be like. Does that have and an effect on the work that you can do? Well, it does. I mean, maybe 10, 20 years ago, it would have been quite difficult to do... Mm. Fight. I mean, yeah, you could have done the black and white thing mm. and all that, but th in the older days, th that sort of thing would fade. We all know that mm. you don't take those snaps from the 50s or 60s, 70s. They fade after a while. Yeah. Well, these won't. You know, these won't fade. 150 it, years. Really? Yeah. 150 yeah. years? But it's the actual way, the, the treatment. I mean, I've never seen it look well, like that. Well, it, so it's the software, wonderful. different software yes. and different things you can mm. do with the camera. Mm. And, uh, yeah, you, you can work these things on mm. the computer. Mm. And, uh, yeah. Fantastic. So what inspires you, Clive? What, what inspires me? Um, light, shape. Mm. You know, I, I can walk around all day and nothing will work. And then suddenly, as the day goes on, mm the sun, the light and everything mm. will work mm. for me and I think, well, yeah, I can get something out mm. of this. And sometimes it can be the simplest thing. Mm. And sometimes you'll see something quite abstract, which is real life, mm. but you can make it look abstract, mm. but it's for real. Mm. Yeah, it's for real. And, yeah. and, and when you, now you've come to the West Midlands, have you discovered places already? Because I know you've just started shooting here, yeah, haven't well, you? Yeah, so well, the ball rings that the yes, obvious. I yes, mean, this, are this iconic. Mm -hmm. is iconic. Mm -hmm. And yes. I've seen the library and mm -hmm. various other buildings yes. that, uh, yeah. And then you've got this amazing canal system. Yes. I've worked for many years in Venice. Oh, have and, you? Yes, and, and uh, you know, going there yes. for different clients yeah. and shooting. Yeah. And it's amazing to know that Birmingham's got more, more canals, canals absolutely. than Venice. Yes, that's right. It's I haven't a fact. seen any gondolas it's going up and down. Yeah, like <laughs> I don't think we're likely to have no, those, no, but wouldn't no. it be lovely if we did? Yeah, yeah. But when, you, when you're here, do you feel that Birmingham hasn't actually had the sort of um, credit, if you like, as far as photography is concerned? Well, it, it, yes, yeah, yeah. There, there's a lot of scope mm. in Birmingham and the Midlands yes. uh, and this part of the world, mm. you know. And because it's... Because I, I've spent most of my time actually working, shooting abroad, mm. coming to somewhere like this, mm. you get a different perspective. And because it's new to me, and you know, there's a lot to see and do. That's yeah. great because yeah. you have a new eye, almost like yeah, a new yeah. eye on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And again, as you said, it's, it's not, not just familiar to me. It's yes. not familiar. Which yeah. is good, though. Is that yeah. right? In, yeah. From your yeah. point of view. Yeah. 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 And yeah. and if you're not just going to be photographing Birmingham, as you say, you're going to go across the West Midlands, well, it'll, it'll, looking yeah. at different yes, areas yeah, and yeah. to see what shooting you can find. Yeah, and it'll probably be over two or three months. Maybe longer, but yeah. Yeah, I was going to ask to, you that. Does it? Mm. Do you have a sort of set plan in your head, or do you just well, go with the flow? I, I, if 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 I go out to shoot, I I go out to shoot, and I mm. don't do anything else. Mm. You know, I go out specifically, mm. and I might do a recce of the location, 
and then think, yeah, this is going to look good at this time of day or whatever, and then mm. try and make sure that I'm back there at that time mm. to, to do the, the necessary, mm. you know, get the angles, get the shots. Because light is very important, isn't it? Light is everything. I mean, that's mm. what, what, what photography is. You are capturing light. Mm. It's as simple as that. Really? Um, uh, and, the, you know, you can have the simplest thing like a mug mm. or something, and it's the light that's on it mm. that you're recording that makes the picture. And then you've got the shape and the angle and all these things. And all things. those sort but, of things come but into play. The light but is the initial it's thing. Yeah, yeah. And, and I, I tend to shoot early in the mornings, late in the afternoon, and obviously at dusk mm. into the evening. Yeah. That's incredible. And when you, when you, since you've come to the West Midlands, you've just recently had a launch, have you not? Yes, here yes, in Birmingham. Yeah, yeah. So how was that? How did that? Yeah, go? it went very well. I had a lot of interest from Fantastic. all sorts of clients, uh, hoteliers, restaurateurs. You know, off, for offices, PR mm. companies, mm. and uh, alike. Yeah, that's yeah. brilliant. And yeah. would you say that the the sort of work that you do, it, it, would you say it's innov innovative? And we've described it I, as innovative I, at the well, top of the I, show. Well, in my gallery, all I can mm. say is that people come into my gallery and they look at the work that I've done, mm. and and they'll say, "Who are the photographers?" And I'll mm. say, "Well, it's only me. It's mm. all my work." Mm. And they're quite surprised that that there is such a wide variety mm. of of images from sort mm. of what I would call straightforward landscapes to mm. this sort of mm. thing, you know, mm. where, where, where we've used techniques. Mm. And I do multi-image pictures like the one in the yes, front there. Yes, we've got yeah, one in the front there. The front. So again, it's quite different. You yeah, do sort yeah. of abstract, but you also do I the do, more traditional, yeah, yeah, don't I, you, I, as well. Waterfalls and things yes. like that, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you've created mm. this, like, we've got <clears> these lovely placemats yes, on my yeah. table today. Well, I, the idea is to, is to um, offer fine art, mm. but also, Using the photography and the art mm. for things like the umbrella, yes, yes, we've got the umbrella here, the and, and, then and, the, and these and place, the place mats. mats. And this, what's this called? Well, well it's an it? umbrella. The, the image is, yes. I call it fashionista, fashionista. And, and the story behind that is, mm. I used to do a lot of work for people like uh, C. B. Richard Ellis, so mm. a lot of um, top end uh, real estate people mm -hmm. who were selling buildings for pension funds mm -hmm. and what have you. And in the course of shooting these buildings and everything, I would be asked to shoot the locality mm -hmm. and what goes on. So oh. if I was shooting in the West End, of course, and most of it was in the West End and the city, they'd want pictures of, of Bond Street, Oxford Street, you know, the obvious yes. things, cafes, restaurants, mm. famous places, mm. because they would be selling the building to a pension fund in somewhere like Japan, America, uh -huh. or wherever. And, they want, and, and the person who's buying this £100 million building would want to know that round the corner is Harrods or, or restaurants or, yeah. or Bond Street or whatever. So for doing that, I, I was photographing things like shoes and mm. handbags and clothes mm. and signs. And then I got this idea of putting it all together. Mm. And then I got the idea of putting it in a film strip idea, mm. like the re going back to retro, the, the retro thing, you know, yes. like we used to shoot film years ago until mm. somebody kindly invented the digital camera. <laughs> And screwed the whole thing up for <laughs> photographers, so everybody can take a yes. picture now. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, so I put the thing together and um, it evolved. Yeah. And so again, you've you've got so many projects by the looks of you, so many yeah, ideas yeah, that, you, yeah, that you come up with. Yeah. Yeah. I wake up at two o'clock in the morning and think, oh, that sounds like an interesting thing yeah. to do, and then I just build on that, mm. and then some. Then I'll go off at a tangent, mm. and something else will come up. Mm. But sometimes it just happens, and yeah. you just see something, and yeah. you just think, "Oh, that's you know, that's what I'm yeah. going to do today." Yeah. And and with the, with the future with your artwork, Clive, how do you see it? Do you see, do you see yourself continuing to do the things that you're doing at the moment, or do you think it's going to evolve? Well, I I, I think it has to evolve. Mm. I mean, you know, we live in fast moving times. Mm. In any any job you're in, I mean, you know, take the printing presses. I mean, they're obsolete. The old lead things. Yes. It's all gone. Yeah, I still it's remember all desktop those. publishing mm. and all this sort of. Every mm. all of our jobs progress. We mm. have to learn computer skills and all these mm. sort of things. So mm. the photography, you have to learn different skills mm. now. From when I used to shoot weddings a hundred years ago on <laughs> on roll <laughs> film and black and white. Yeah. It's all gone. It's all changed. Yeah. It's all and would changed. you say that's made it easier or harder for it's, it's, inspiring well, the trouble photographers? Is, it, it, photography is easier, mm. and I can explain that by saying that um, years ago I was asked to photograph. I've, I've photographed most a lot of cities in America for Guidebook, uh, the AA publishing company, and I was out there and I was sitting in the car, waiting for the sun to go down behind. Uh, the Golden Gate Bridge, and I saw this chap. He took one picture, looked at his digital camera, deleted it. I could see him, and then took another, 
Five times he went and, mm. and he said, yep, that's it, I've got the shot and walked off. Years ago with film, he would have taken that one picture and walked off, mm. gone to Boots or Walmart yes. or whoever, yes. and <laughs> it would have been blank. It wouldn't, yeah. have, been, it wouldn't have been any yeah. good. So it, the technology has made mm. it, generally speaking, mm. a lot easier for people to get mm. a good picture. Oh, that's great. So, well, it is, it's good for, in a way, but what it's meant is that, that most people who've got an iPhone 6 or mm. something can take a pretty good picture. Mm. Mm. So At the changed. end of the day, yeah, so, you, mm. you, so as a photographer, trying to make a living from it, I have to innovate, I have to mm. be on top of the game, just like any mm. other top professional, or when I say top mm. professional, I mean other mm. professional photographers. Well, it's brilliant, Clive. So we've got to leave it there, Clive, but thank you so much no, for coming in today. Pleasure, it's been an absolute pleasure yeah, to thank meet you. Thank much. you so thank much. You. Right, we're going to go to break now, but come back and join us after the break. Welcome back to Cuppa TV. Joining me now is a lady who's probably better known as Vix from Fuzzbox, the lead singer-songwriter of the all-girl chart band who had chart hits such as The Pink Sunshine and International Rescue and were UK's most successful all-female band. Now up to new music and mischief, please welcome Vix. Vix, so <laughs> great to see you. Thank, Thank you, you so much for coming on Cup of TV. Great to be here. Vix, I mean that one statement, most successful UK all-girl band, and yeah. that still stands today. today, is that yeah. right? Yes, I mean we found that out. Uh, um, it's 2010, so we had a, a Fuzzbox reunion, did a tour and a single and stuff, which was great fun, but part of me was really, really, really proud, and I still am, but part of me was really annoyed. Because oh, I thought, you well, where are all the girl bands? Yeah. We thought we were kind of just one, you know, on the crest of a wave, yeah. and there were going to be loads of female musicians, loads of girl bands, and you know, there, there are, are more yes. like, than there were, but it's still. But let's define band because people will think Spice Girls as, but God, band. They're not a band. <laughs> they so can't play instruments. Band, it's an instrument. Oh isn't yes, it? you've got to be so able to play. You have to be able to play an instrument. Not a vocal Fantastic. group, because obviously you've got yes. people like the Supremes and course, Girls Aloud. Yeah. And, Fantastic. Yeah. So in your band, yes. you, what musical instruments do you play? So in, in my band now, Vix yes. and Her Mischiefs, yes. we've got, um, I'm on ukulele and, and vocals, then we've got a violin, cajon, which is like a box that you sit on and Oh, whack, yes, yes. Like, kind of like uh, for rhythm. Do, do you hit it with a drumstick? You can, like yeah, you can use your hands, yes. you can use brushes mm -hmm. and, and stuff, and she's got a fancy little pedal. She's got loads of gadgets Mimi has. Um, so Nemi on uh, violin, Mimi on uh, cajon and guitar and all sorts of other clever yeah. things. Um, and uh, we've got Imi on double bass. Oh, so it's really quite a, a unique sound. I just woke up one morning and thought, I know, I know what I want. I want another all-girl all band. I want it to sound like this. And I had... <gasps> You know, I had the instruments in my head, even personalities and everything, and it was done within a week. How so it was amazing really is that? Cosmic, so <laughs> let's go back to so where it all began. So how did you first start your career, Vix? How did it all start? Well, we were just schoolgirls, mm -hmm. and um, we were at a, at a club when I was 15, I think, and uh, we were always going out to sing gigs. We were mad on the, sort of the live scene. And a, a, a band that were friends of ours called the Bang Sisters said they were playing. We said, all right, who's supporting you? Mm -hmm. said, we haven't got any... I haven't got a support band, so we just basically volunteered and said, well, I will do it, and we didn't have a band. So we went, to, went away and it was like, well, you know, Vix, you've been in the solo singing competition, you can be on uh, vocals <laughs> and you, you play a few chords, Joe. you can be on guitar. And it was just like that, and we botched it together mm. um, the, the afternoon before the gig. And then, Amazing. And then it went down so well, because we were dressed really crazy as well. We had all mad makeup and mm. crazy hair and, and silly tutus from the rag market, you know, bits of material our mums had cobbled together. And, um, and before you knew it, we had another gig and so on. We were signed up at our second gig by a local label. Wow, And then I mean, before incredible. we knew, we were sort of touring the world and on top of the pops and having hits and, yeah, it was pretty And did fabulous. you think it, would, it happened so quickly? Because it oh, did no. happen so quickly, didn't no, it? No, we hadn't. Yeah. That, didn't have an inkling, no. 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 Isn't that great, though? It and, was kind of good. And then from there, so you did that. From what what year did you did you? So did that was a, up? oh about sort of 90, 91, mm -hmm. really. I mean, it seems funny for a band like Fuzzbox, but really, I would say it was over musical differences because mm. you didn't really kind of cross pollinate with different musical styles then. So because I thought it'd be really nice to have like you know soft girls' voice, but perhaps with dancey drums and you know maybe rocky guitar. But it's like oh, you can't do that. So you you seem to have to be really pigeonholed mm. and I think from starting off from, from being like 16 and then um, you know kind of being 21 or whatever you, you, your musical taste changed so much as so somebody was it would be into disco or indie mm. I was I wanted to get more guitars in mm. and we just found it very hard to 
to write together right. anymore, really. So when so I did Iron Things, ways, yeah. And now you've got this new band, mm. Fix and the Mischiefs. Yeah. Yes. And Fix again, them. exciting times ahead, I think. Oh, it's brilliant. Yeah, it's kind of Americana, so it's yeah. a bit kind of country. Mm a bit folky, a bit rockabilly, you know, all that stuff. We, we do some covers and some quite quirky covers of uh, things like Royals. We do a really nice version of some modern stuff mm -hmm. as well as old things. And then loads of um, original material that I write. And do you find that you've still got some fans from your old band, Vix? Yeah. Do they I, come and see your shows? They do, they mm. do. And so we've started to... Put, oh, it's yeah. lovely, yeah. yeah. So we have started to put in, like, uh, one or two mm. fuzzbox numbers as yes. well, in our like own kind of Pink style. Sunshine, yes, instance, Pink yes. Sunshine. Very popular, yes. that one. Yeah. But again, do you, do, you, do you mind that, or do you find that you don't want to do that now? I mean, I don't want to particularly do a whole set. I mean, can you imagine something like International Rescue, you know, five <laughs> sort of Americana style? I yeah. just can't see no. it. Although if someone really begged, I might yes. have a go for a laugh. Yeah. But um, no, I don't, no. I, I don't mind. No. I mean, I, I'm fortunate to have had that as my, my background. And it was, you know, they were great days. So, but I'm, I'm obviously I'm more interested mm -hmm. in what I'm doing now. And with the Americana band, which is what the band you've got yes. now. So just explain that to people who may, perhaps <clears throat> may not know what that is. What, what does that actually mean? Is there, is there a way? Well, I suppose Americana is, I mean, you, you might say, you know, you could have clothing and cars that would mm -hmm. be under the banner of Americana as well. But it's that sort of mainly kind of retro 50s, -y, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. American sort of style stuff mainly. But yeah, well, our music is like country mm -hmm. rockabilly. Folk, bluegrass, that sort of stuff. And you're, what about your age groups? Do you, do you attract all kind of age groups that come to your concerts? Yeah, well, we've actually just this weekend done um, a video for the first single, which is called Fame is Your Driver. And we had, we've got babies in it and toddlers. We've got um, <laughs> people, of, in, oh, I mean, it's, it's wonderful, really, because it really shows kind of Birmingham and the West Midlands yes. the way I see it, which is it's really diverse, you know, oh, every thanks. different sort there. So I, I actually think that it will you know, will appeal to all ages, because it's still kind of quite poppy. Mm. But and what's that called again? Cool. Fame? Fame is your drive, and it's all, it's a bit of a Mickey take. Again, one of my sort of, I suddenly kind of went, oh, I really, really want to do a video that's like a Mickey take of um, X Factor mm. and Britain's Got Talent. And I thought someone must have done it. Mm. So I was Googling, I was searching on YouTube, and I couldn't find anything like I'd, I, you know, I wanted people to come in like it was a real audition. Um, and I couldn't find anything similar, so I thought, right, let's, let's, let's do, it do it then. So, yeah, well, managed to get an amazing team together. Fantastic. So who's directed it? Because we've got oh. actually got a clip of that. I don't oh. know if you're aware today, but we've got exclusive just for Cup of TV. I've not been and, allowed to see and it. And for you, I don't think you've seen it either, I've not have been you? allowed, no. So let's take a look at the clip now, and, and we'll come back. OK. Your 15 minutes fame starts right here. So enjoy it while it lasts while we live. Will you save or sell your soul? Rock and roll. Some say that it's the price of fame, my dear. If fame is your driver, you're likely to crash. You're going to burn out, you're going to fast. If fame is your driver, you'll get to the top. Pull over, please stop. I want to get old. I want to get old. <laughs> Fantastic. That was amazing. How, what was it like for you, Vix, watching oh. that for the first time? It, brilliant. I mean, that is work in progress. Yes. Mark Presti um, directed it, and he's actually winning a lot of awards at the moment. Is he? Tell us about that. Titanic Love, like a short film that he's mm. done. But he's, he's, he's a very talented chap. You should have him in. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Another guest for Cup of yeah. TV. Absolutely. But we, I mean, we're very lucky. You know, we'd, I mean, I ended up producing it and casting it. And I did a silly um, choreography thing for, the, for a line dance. <laughs> I wanted to do like a cheesy line dance. Everyone was really, really great. But the atmosphere was so nice. Mm. Everybody actually had a really good time. I mean, I've done a, a couple of things being an extra, and it was horrible. Really? You're like in a freezing cold room or a, or a bus, mm. like for hours, and no, nobody sort of comes to tell you what's happening. Mm. And, oh, it was a really, really horrible experience mm. that I've had and a lot of other people I know. But we really looked after them, and they had oh, a really fun great. time. And so. you obviously enjoyed making it. Do you know what? It's one of the best days of my life. Oh, really? Yeah, seriously, yes, which at my age, you sort of think, yeah. what's about a few no good days? <laughs> I had such fun. Oh, that's uh, absolutely, Honestly, wait till you see the whole video yes, with all the different little cameo yes. parts in. And some people um, pledged. Yes, could you? Was going to yeah. talk, I was going to ask you about that, the pledge campaign. Tell us about that. Yeah, well, um, some people pledge to have like a, a special little cameo role mm -hmm. in, in the video. So a pledge campaign, it's a, a crowdfunding um, site so like Kickstarter and uh, Indiegogo where fans and you know 
friends, family, anyone mm -hmm. who oh, anyone who loves art, I suppose, mm -hmm. can can um, choose something they they might want to have that's exclusive. So you, it, it'll be the the new EP that's coming out so next, that's, which so is called Music and that. Mischief. Oh, right, Funnily yes. enough, you said Music and Mischief. Music and Mischief. There yeah. we are. Um, and, but then there can be other things like um, I could do a personalised um, happy birthday to them, or they could um, we could do a house party, or signed artwork. Um, loads of different things that they can have that are exclusive to them. Fantastic. Um, and yeah, so if they go on pledgemusic.com and uh, we're on there and they can sort and then of... they can help you. Yeah, be yeah. part of like... And our, is that important to you? Well, the fan base is, the is important involved. anyway, isn't mm -hmm. it? And, you know, it's, it's incredibly hard these days because you don't tend to have the managers or the development deals from record companies that you once had. Mm -hmm. So you have to do such a lot yourself. You know, you end up managing, promoting, mm -hmm. you know booking blooming gigs and everything mm. yourself and the, mm. so it's nice to have more more hands to the deck and I think it's really nice for the fans because they get stuff that nobody else has got and they yeah. get everything before everybody else oh, has really? got as well yeah I mean the pledges start right. from five pounds so it's yes. not it doesn't all have to be yeah. terribly expensive and but it's so just on. something that they can do you know to support you yes yeah which is a great thing Absolutely. and what's the future for Vix and uh, the Mischiefs? Ooh. Well, you'll have to come back on the show. Oh yes, would you come back on Cup of TV with a, with a whole band? Oh, with a whole band, yes, and please. perform your We'd single. That would be to. wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, that would be, be great. absolutely fantastic. That'd be fun. But you know, well, how do you see it though, Vix? What do you what would you like to be? Well, Sunday song? Sunday twenty. Hold on, first oh. of all, hold your horses. Oh. Sunday twenty fifth of April, <laughs> <laughs> We're, we've got our launch at the Glee Club, fantastic. and it's free. Thank you so much, Vix. Thank you. Lovely to meet you. Thanks, Thanks for coming on Top of VE. Thank you. That's it for today. I'd like to thank all of my guests for joining me. Please do get in touch with us either on Facebook or Twitter at Big Centre TV or you can email the show. Come back and join us again soon. <laughs> <laughs>